Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the National Timely Action Hour podcast. If you're new, then uh, it's great to have you here. And if you are a returning listener, then thank you for coming back. This is the show where we talk about everything from uh, Star Wars to Spider-Man and everything in between. I'm your host, Aiden. Today is episode number 16. And uh, this one is called Marvel Comics' Blatant Superman Ripoff. So if you're familiar at all with my show, then you know that I like to go over some obscure uh, characters or ideas. And uh, this one, when I when it was brought to my attention, I knew for a fact that I was going to make an episode on this. So this is going to be a character biography and sort of explanation of, as I said, Marvel Comics' blatant Superman ripoff. Real name, Ethan Edwards, alias Virtue, other aliases, Moral Man. Height, 6 feet 10 inches, this is a beast of a man. Weight, 295 pounds. Hair color, blonde. Eye color, blue. Base of operations, New York City. Marital status, single. Universe, Earth-616. First appearance, Marvel Knights, Spider-Man, issue number 13, by Reginald Hudlin and Billy Tan, published in June of 2005. Now here's the doozy. Species, Skrull. That's right, folks, you heard it here. Marvel's blatant ripoff of Superman is, in fact, a Skrull. So... Let's get into a bit of the character's history. As I said, his name is Ethan Edwards, and his father placed him on a rocket as a baby just moments before Galactus devoured the Skrull homeworld, and this was after his father had given him superpowers. And the ship leaves the Skrull homeworld, Galactus devours it, and he lands on Earth in a town called Hicksville, Iowa, where he is found by a farmer and his wife, and they adopt him and raise him as their own son. Sound familiar? <laughs> the couple uh, raised their son, whom they named Ethan, with strong moral values, and taught him to use his powers in secret responsibly. Sort of like how uh, Peter learned how to use his powers with great power and great responsibility after his Uncle Ben was murdered. After college, Ethan moved to New York City, and he got a job as a reporter at the Daily Bugle. There, he met Peter Parker uh, when J. Jonah Jameson had them work together on an assignment. Uh, this was going to be a piece about Spider-Man. I don't remember exactly what the details of it were, but, you know, J. Jonah Jameson, he wants them pictures of Spider-Man. While they were working on this project, he and Peter became good friends. And, uh, you know, they were out doing their assignment, and Ethan's face was quickly photographed while he was uh, rescuing a guy in his virtue guise. And, uh, you know, he was uh, photographed while he was taking off his costume in an alley, and it was broadcast to the public. So Peter revealed to Ethan that he was Spider-Man, and so they had that kinship. And then Spider-Man brought Virtue to the Baxter Building, where the Fantastic Four uh, were testing his powers. And then the FF found Ethan's ship, in Iowa, after he told them about his or about you know him being from Iowa. Then, uh, while they were out, Virtue accidentally murdered a man, and uh, you know Spider-Man's not having any of this, and so you know they he tells the New Avengers at this time it's the New Avengers he, he tells them about Virtue. And they go and they fight him. And then Ethan flees. And eventually Peter's Aunt May and 
Iron Man's butler, Edwin Jarvis, uh, track him down and convince him to use his powers for good. And then Ethan leaves the United States and goes and helps people around the world. And then later he joins Wonder Man's team, the Revengers, and they defeat the Avengers. Uh, Wonder Man is a character who's been around since the 60s, and uh, he was a member of the Avengers, but then he died, then he came back to life. It's a whole thing. Maybe I'll do an episode on Wonder Man. Then later, Ethan returns when he is part of the Kree Skrull Alliance. So back in the 70s, there was a story called the Kree Skrull War, and that explains how for centuries the Kree people and the Skrull people had been at each other's throats. And I guess at this point in time, they're like, you know, let's just make them allies. And Ethan was part of this, of them. And, uh, like I said, he's just a straight-up rip-off of Superman, albeit with a few differences. For example, he's a Skrull, and uh, when he learns that, initially, he's horrified, and uh, then he comes to accept it. So, I briefly discussed the Skrulls, um, I think, at least I think so. But for those of you who are unfamiliar, the Skrulls are this alien race in Marvel Comics, and they first appeared I th in the early Fantastic Four issues. I think it's like number two or three or something like that. So very early in the Marvel Age, in the Silver Age. And uh, they're basically an allegory for communists because they can shape change and uh, they're infiltrative and they're always trying to take over the world and you know it's 1961 so you know uh, Joseph McCarthy is still fresh in the mind of the citizens and that whole thing not to get all political on you but I'm just trying to explain the history here but uh, yeah the scrolls are an interesting part of the Marvel Universe and uh, let's go over some of Ethan's powers. So he's got super strength, speed and flight, x-ray vision, like Superman. And uh, he's got laser blast from his palms instead of his eyes. And uh, his scroll physiology allows him to shape change. And uh, he is nigh invul... <clears throat> excuse me, he is nigh invulnerable. And he has healing powers. So he can heal himself and he can heal others. And uh, not much is known about where he is now, but uh, I just thought I'd just go over his history. Like I said, it's very interesting, and I like to talk about obscure things. And uh, if you're new, then I hope that you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe to the podcast so you can get uh, so you can hear other episodes such as this and uh, I would like to thank those who support me on patreon.com forward slash Aiden Vaughn that is A-I-D-A-N-V-A-U-G-H-A-N no spaces and no capital letters and uh, you can join us on our uh, Facebook page that's the National Timely Action Hour on uh, facebook.com and you can follow me on twitter.com that is at the buddha 99 you can join our discord server to uh chat and share memes and just have an all-around good time and uh, please go to my youtube channel that is the national timely action hour on youtube and uh, check out my comic book reviews and my uh, t uh, TV show reviews, video game gameplay, uh, action figure reviews, etc., etc. So uh, thank you so much for listening. I had a fun time researching this and making this episode, and I sincerely hope that you enjoyed it, and I sincerely hope that you have a truly wonderful, amazing day, because you guys are great. So uh, thank you so much for listening. Hope you're doing well, and uh, that's all for now. Talk to you later. Bye.